All right, let's proceed to the next Flexbox property, which is the Align Content property. The Align Content property aligns lines of content along the cross axis. This is similar to how the Align Items property aligns individual items along the cross axis. However, a very important condition is that multiple columns or rows must exist within the container. To better understand the different possible values, let's head back to VS Code and make sure to have a height on the container and enable wrapping. Comment out flex1, set height 300, and flex wrap, set to wrap. Wrapping is essential to force our content into two columns. Now, save the file, take a look at the UI, and you will notice the content wraps into two columns. The Align Content property is used to align these lines of content within the container along the cross axis. The default value for Align Content is Flex Start, which places both columns at the start of the cross axis. The cross axis runs from left to right. If you were to set align content, flex start, save the file, you will notice there is no change in the UI. Another possible value is flex end, which pushes the content to the end of the cross axis. When you save the file, you can see the content aligned to the right. You can also center the content by specifying a value of center. After saving the file, you will observe the content perfectly centered. The fourth value is stretch, which stretches the columns from start to end of the cross axis. As a result, both columns now stretch together to take up the entire horizontal space available in the UI. Next, we have space between, which takes all the extra space and places it in between the lines. On saving the file, you might encounter an issue. This is because of how styles have been applied to our items. To resolve this, you can add a fixed width and height to the box component by setting width to 50, and height to 50 as well. Now check the UI again, and you will notice the extra space between the two columns. Finally, there is space around, which distributes the space around the columns. The center portion has twice the space as the edges. To summarize, the Align Content property in React Native aligns lines of content along the cross axis and distributes any extra spacing in the parent container. The possible values are flex start, which is the default, flex end, center, stretch, space between, and space around. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.